Let us make a comparison of depreciation, repairs and cost of and therefore the total cost of machine usage. We will compare the fixed installment or the SLM straight line method and the written down value method. Under the fixed installment of the straight line method, we said depreciation is the same. But under the written down value method, the depreciation reduces because how is depreciation computed under the written down value? It is a fixed rate on the written down value. It is a fixed rate on a reducing balance since the written down value of the asset goes on reducing. Repairs may increase. We are considering the same scenario. So it would increase whether we follow the fixed installment or the written down value method of depreciation. Therefore, what happens if the depreciation is the same and the repairs increases in the straight line method, the total charge to the profit and loss will increase. However, under the written down value method, depreciation decreases Repairs increase so that the total charge to profit and loss may not increase too much. We can also consider an example. Suppose we take this asset of 4000 with an estimated life of 2 years and a res residual value of 1000. In that case, as we computed earlier, under written down value method, the rate of depreciation was... 50%. Under the straight line method, however, the depreciation would be 4000 minus 1000, that is cost minus scrap, divided by a life of 2, giving us 1500 would be the amount of depreciation each year. Under written down value method, we had computed that it would be 2000 and 1000. Therefore, and a fixed installment depreciation in the first year is 1500. It is fixed in the second year also it is 1500. Under the written down value method, depreciation is 2000 and the second year it is 1000. Let us assume that there were no repairs in the first year. However, the repairs in the second year was 1000. Therefore, if you take a total, in case of total of depreciation and repairs, in the first year, it is 1,500 under the fixed installment method, but 2,500 in the second year. Therefore, the total cost of machine usage, that is including depreciation, including repairs, we get, we see that the total cost of using of the machine has changed from 1,500 in the first year to 2,500 in the next year, which is a large jump. But under the written down value method, we have the total charge to profit and loss of 2,000 in the first year and in the second year again 2,000. Therefore, the total of the repairs and depreciation or in other words, the total cost of machine usage can be more or less kept at a uniform level. That is why the written down value method is preferred in case of those assets which require a lot of repairs as the asset grows older. The straight line method is preferred in those instances where there are hardly any repairs and maintenance expenses. A comparison straight line versus reducing balance method. Under the straight line method, depreciation charged each year is equal, equal depreciation, but under the reducing balance, depreciation reduces each year. As we mentioned before, this is because it is a fixed rate on a reducing balance. However, under the straight line method, the total of the depreciation and repairs may increase as the asset gets older if that is if repairs get higher as an asset grows older, then the total of the depreciation and repairs would increase as the asset gets older under the straight line method. However, 
under the reducing balance method since the amount of depreciation goes down while the amount of repairs goes up it is quite likely that the variation on the total of repairs and depreciation may not vary much may be more or less uniform the under the straight line method the value of an asset could be reduced to zero or it is reduced to the scrap value under the reducing balance method the value of an asset cannot be extinguished even if it has no scrap value there will always be some balance remaining in the asset the rate of depreciation under straight line method was nothing but depreciation per annum divided by cost into 100 since the depreciation per annum is fixed it's the same amount each year but under the reducing balance method the depreciation rate is 1 minus the nth root of residual value by cost of asset into 100 The straight line method is suitable for assets which have low repairs and maintenance. For example, leases and copyrights which do not have any repairs expenditure. So it is fair to charge equal amount of depreciation each year. There is no other cost of the use of the asset. However, the reducing balance or written down value method is most suitable for plant and machinery which have high repairs and maintenance as the machine gets older so that the total cost of using the machine that is repairs plus depreciation may more or less remain uniform year after year this in brief is a comparison between the straight line and reducing balance methods of computing depreciation two very popular methods of computing depreciation